Hello students, today we are going to start with a new chapter of science that is classification of living things. Now first, let's have a look at the introduction of this chapter. Now we all know that living things include both plants and animals, right? We find a variety of plants and animals in our surrounding, right from microorganisms to large beasts. Now students, it is necessary to classify all these plants and animals in order to identify and remember them. So the credit for classifying plants goes to the scientist Carlos Linnaeus. Now his method of classifying plant is used all over the world. Let's have a look at the criteria for classification of plants. We can quickly identify a particular plant by the characteristic structure, then by leaves, flowers, fruits, color and odor. Now let's have a look at the criteria for identifying animals. So we can recognize birds and animals by the shape of their body, right? Next by the color, next is by the sound they produce. So it is clear that the similarities, differences and the variety among the living things can be used as a criteria for classification. Now first students, we are going to study the classification of plants. Now classification of plants, the first method of classifying is flowering and non-flowering plants. The next thing that we are going to study is by the different stems that they have. And the third one is by the life cycle of the plants. So students, let us first study the first method of classifying that is flowering and non-flowering. Plants that do not bear flowers are called non-flowering plants. Do not bear flower, it means they do not produce flowers. For example, molds. You must have seen molds coming out on bread, right? So your mold, it doesn't have flower. So it is a non-flowering plant. Next is mushrooms. Mushrooms, they do not have flower. So again, example of non-flowering. The next one is fern. So these are the examples of non-flowering plants. Now plants that do bear flowers are called flowering plants. So it is very simple. The plants that have flowers, we call it as flowering plants. Example, hibiscus, mogra, mango. They all have flowers on them. So they are flowering plants. 